Hello people of the internet and allow me to beg your indulgence for the next 8 minutes. I've got 3 subjects to talk about today. Um, one of them is this game because there's this, just this moment I want to talk over because I got really bloody lucky in it. And this is part of my ongoing attempt to regain my old form and COD. The game's KD in the end is a 4. I'm just going to put that one out there so there's no spoilers. But it's the way I get this KD I think it and it all takes place in one particular moment which is pretty awesome plus I get two packs of dogs, it's, pre it's actually a pretty good game um, the other topics I want to talk about are Hackers and The Dark Knight Rises a Gunman which isn't particularly pleasant to talk about but um, I think we'll start with that since it's the biggest thing um, so I'm sure you're all aware there's a new Batman movie out and it's called The Dark Knight Rises and at the premiere on the 20th of July 2012 in uh, Aurora a town called Aurora there was well there was a shooting at the midnight showing of the program basically what happened was a lot of people were watching the film and about 20 minutes in a guy f throws what is suspected to be tear gas it's not been confirmed yet but suspected to be tear gas out at the crowd everybody thinks it's part of the movie at this point and they think wow it's some kind of special smoke effect to make it really immerse you which you can kind of forgive them for thinking and then uh, he opens fire and it's at that point that they realize it's not part of the movie you know about I think it's currently said 14 people have been killed I don't know the exact up-to-date number last number I saw was 14 uh, with about, I think it's something like 27 people injured in hospital, and um, and uh, yeah, so they and eventually the uh, they got this guy when they uh, when he was going back out to his car in the car park, um, and he se apparently seemed really ca calm, and he was decked out in all like a lot of body armor and stuff like that, and um, and uh, had a gas mask on, so he was and he had a, an assault rifle. Um, apparently a submachine gun, no sorry, a shotgun, and two handguns, uh, apparently Glocks. So this guy was ready for quite a serious bit of shooting. Um, what, but when they arrested the bloke and, you know, detained him, they asked, uh, he told police that he'd booby-trapped his house, and apparently that blew up and killed a load of officers whilst they were looking for it. That, I don't think, is confirmed, but... I did hear that happened, so I mean I don't have any reason to believe it's it's wrong, but um because he he had booby trapped his house and he warned police and he went over there and apparently got blown up. Um and all the while this 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 guy is has recently professed he was the Joker, which I don't know that, that raises questions, doesn't it? I mean you've got to be careful here what you say because now, do you go and blame The Dark Knight, the original, you know, the film with the Joker in it? Do you go and blame that film for putting these thoughts inside his head? Or do you look at apparently the fact that this guy... I also heard a rumour, and I don't think it's been confirmed, but I heard a rumour this guy was mentally, you know, um, challenged. Um, you know... And so do you do you blame the film or or I don't know really how to blame my thoughts on it are this and I'm gonna have to hurry up when I talk about my next subject. Um my thoughts on it are it was probably a one off event and it and nothing really more. I don't think you're gonna see this type of thing happening on a regular basis, that's what I'm gonna say. And he wasn't linked to any terror cell, it was apparently some some easily impressionable kid who thought he was the Joker. Which doesn't take away the from the horrificness of what happened, uh, not at all. It's not what I'm trying to say, but it's um, it's a really unfortunate event. I mean, the thing the thing that struck me about it is I could easily have envisaged envisaged myself in the film, you know, at the film, just trying to enjoy myself at the film at the movies, you know. Since I've seen the film as well, I went to see Dark Knight Rises and. Um, that's that's really my fault. I mean, it's like it could have happened to anyone. So, it, my uh, sympathies to the f to the families. Um, and on to much happier topics. Hackers on Cool GT. Now, this this was really came back to my attention when I was watching Painkiller already 100, 
and they were constantly getting DDoSed and basically what that is, is it's, it's, it's a thing that you do on the internet to basically inhibit a service or stream and uh, I was playing World at War again uh, the other day and I came across hackers uh, not this game obviously but it wasn't. I didn't actually come across hackers in the game it was a hack that kept me out of the game and I'm going to show you a clip of what was happening after this video so you can see it and um, and what what I have to say about hackers, I think, and a, and a lot of people were getting really angry at these hackers. You know, they were saying, "God, fuck hackers! Why the fuck are they hacking this thing?" And and the thing you've got to remember is, there's no point getting angry at hackers. I mean, hackers are the type of people who are disowned by their parents. Their parents beat them as kids. Nobody loves them, and nobody has, you know, any kind of. Um, emotion that can be conveyed as kindness towards these people. These are people who've been met with hostility their whole lives and are basically just taking it out in the only way that they can they can. And they were forced obviously onto the internet by the by the solitude and cruelty that they faced in real life. And unfortunately they've been caught in this vicious cycle where now not even their own parents love them. And I mean when you look at it like that, I guess I can kind of understand why you'd want to feel like you have power over somebody. But um so what I'm gonna say is, you know, don't don't really get too hung up on, on hackers. I mean they're not really anything to to concern yourself with. And now that I've talked to and but they and of course they are annoying and they shouldn't exist, but anyway, this is a bit that I'm gonna cut across with some gameplay talk because look what happens here. Okay, so I've taken that guy out. Oh my god, I'm under pressure. I've got an M1 Garand at close range. I survive. Pick out a Type 95 and I, I, a, a Type 99. I didn't take aim. Luckily, got the um, stab. I'm like, I can see people coming around here. Oh, luck is shot off. And then I have to back away. I'm out of ammo. Oh no, I'm completely out of ammo in both clips. Bam! Got a, got a ridiculous knife off. I don't know how I got that knife off. But, <laughs> I mean, when you look at it, it's like, how did you knife that guy? But, um,. I think I get one more kill and then the team loses. Um, so, oh no, I get. It. I mean, I have one more kill for my gun. So yeah, um, you know, don't worry about the hackers. I mean, just remember, every time you get pissed off at a hacker, they're just a lonely kid sitting in their room who's never been touched by a girl in their sensitive areas, and all this type of thing. They they are the type of people who have to do it because they have no other way of feeling good about themselves. And that was the game. Thank you for watching and here is that clip of the hacking that I encountered.